Okay, this is the uh, first of my uh, second tutorial I'm going to make for GX. Now I have like input display and like more knowledge of the game. So the first thing I want to talk about is momentum throttling, which is where uh, you want to let go of A at high speeds. That's all there is to it. The reason being is that when you when you uh, when you press A and like the accelerator, the gas is on. Uh, the, the game sends your vehicle speed toward the max speed. So it's like if you're going zero kilometers an hour, you're just stopped, and you press A, you'll go to a thousand kilometers an hour, or whatever the top speed is. But if you're going like three thousand kilometers an hour, you're way above the top speed. It'll also it'll send your speed down, like it'll try to really crank it down, and it has like a exponential or like, uh, well yeah, exponential. Yeah, yeah that is the right term. Because the higher speed you're going, the more it is. So it has an exponential decrease where if you're at like, you know, 500 kilometers an hour above your top speed and you're pressing A, it'll have a pretty minor effect. You'll like, it'll go down to your top speed pretty quickly, but not too fast. Whereas if you're going, if you're going like 3000 kilometers and if you press A, you'll lose a shit ton of speed really fast. To demonstrate this, I'll uh, open up this emulator here. It's currently set to be running at 30 frames per second, which is half speed. Because I'm using keyboard controls for this. So let's see, I'm gonna hold A as I go down here. Land, and I'm going like 1900, and I'm not let, I'm not holding A. And then when I hit this, I got like, I was at 1400 when I hit the rail. So land, 1800, gonna press A, and now I'm at 1400 already. Like, if I just keep holding A even, even as I'm landing, bam, I'm already going, like, dick all for speed. So when you're when you're going really fast and you're not boosting, you want to let go of A. Because you will lose a lot of speed really quickly. I guess I'll close the em emulator now. And... Bring up this. So now I'm on Chapter 3 here. This is on console. I have input display here, so when I'm pressing A, you'll uh, see that. Now, the reason I'm on this course specifically is because of jump plates. The way jump plates work, you basically want to uh, let go of A as you're going up in the air, so right, at, right as you hit the jump plate, and then hold A as you're diving down. Basically, the idea is, uh, as you're moving down in the air and you're diving, holding A, uh, having the engine on will give you speed. Whereas if you're going up, you'll lose speed. So, what you want to do is let go of A, or even right before you're, um, approaching it, you can let go of A. So, like, I'll have A let go and hold A is there. Now, another minor thing is on landings, where... As you pull back on the stick, you don't want to hold A. The moment you like uh, pull back on the stick, you want to let go of A. Because I ideally, when you're landing, you want to have the vehicle land perfectly flat. So from a diving position where you're diving all the way forward, you're going to need to pull the analog stick back. And uh, right when you do that, you want to let go of A. And ideal, you will land perfectly flat and without the engine on. And then you would start boosting or whatever. This lets you go a lot faster, like I'm sitting there. Or like I'm playing kind of sloppily. And I can still do Chapter 3. Uh, it takes a bit of practice. MT in general is actually like, you know, that ideally you'd want to press, like, release or press A, like, the exact frame. Uh, you, you get to certain speeds, so it's like, in theory, it is like frame perfect and it's absurdly difficult to optimize. But uh, that's the gist of it.